In this video, I wanna show you some of the best places to live in Oklahoma if you're maybe thinking about Norman, but you're not sure if it's gonna work for you. So I'm Mercy Billen, I live in Norman, Oklahoma, and I would have a really hard time living anywhere else, honestly. However, there are a few places in the state that have definitely caught my eye that I might want to live in. Number one is definitely Oklahoma City. I go to Oklahoma City a lot right now. The biggest reason is, is because I live in Norman, so it's about a 30 minute, maybe a 20 minute drive, into Oklahoma City. OKC is really big, so I would definitely narrow it down to like the downtown area. I really like the downtown area. It's becoming very walkable, it has the streetcar, which is a great form of public transportation. This area has really cool townhouses to live in, um, some really amazing high-rise apartment buildings that are like built as condos. And of course, there's Scissor Tail Park, and I love a great park. Number two is probably Tulsa, although I always hesitate to say it. I grew up in Claremore, and Claremore's really close to Tulsa. So I would go to Tulsa growing up as a kid, like once a month, maybe more, and I still go a lot now. The thing that I really like about Tulsa is the old neighborhoods and the old houses with all the trees and like rolling hills. So Tulsa became, it like had its boom much earlier than Oklahoma City. So some of the stuff is gonna feel older there than Oklahoma City would. Tulsa is the second largest city in Oklahoma. Number three for me is gonna be Nichols Hills. Now, if you're scratching your head about this one because you've never heard of it, it is a little bitty town that's completely surrounded by Oklahoma City on three sides and then the village, which is another really small town inside of Oklahoma City on the north. So Nichols Hills is 1,280 acres total. So the houses in Nichols Hills are built with the terrain instead of moving dirt around for like houses to be built. So if there is, you know, a natural incline or a natural hill, they left that there instead of moving dirt around. And the houses in Nichols Hills are very beautiful and they have some of the highest price tags of any houses in Oklahoma. Number four is definitely gonna be Tahlequah for me. So I'm an outdoorsy girl. As long as I don't have to sleep outside, I wanna spend as much time outside as possible. Tahlequah is a little bit more mountainous, a little bit more green because it's in the foothills of the Ozark Mountains. One thing I find so sad about living in Norman, Oklahoma is that there aren't very many like wooded trails. There are trails to walk on, but they're not super wooded, where somewhere like Tahlequah, you would have way more forest to walk through, which I love. Number five on my list is gonna be Guthrie, Oklahoma. So Guthrie used to be the state capital just for a couple of years, nothing crazy. Or I think it was a couple of years, I can't remember. But Guthrie is far north of Oklahoma City. So I love history and Guthrie is a place of history. Guthrie is actually a historic landmark like in the downtown area, so that's really cool. And the town really comes together to make it a lively tourist place and they have cool events and stuff like that. I just love the old buildings, the old houses, and the history that comes along with it. I'm Marcy Billen, I am a realtor in Norman, Oklahoma, and when you subscribe to my channel, you get information about Oklahoma, first off, and of course, real estate in Oklahoma.